I'm Melissa Garrett Sharber, and I was raised in Ocracoke. I'm Trudy Austin. I was raised in Ocracoke. Mm -hmm. I'm Andy Garris Jones, and I was raised in Ocracoke. No. I started working in 1982, it was my senior year, and we had to do a work program, work study. And um, I come and ask for a job here uh, for a period in the afternoon. I would leave school, walk down Howard Street, come to work for an hour and a half, and then go back to school. And um, when I graduated, they said, would you like a job? Stay here with us. And I did for 22 years. Oh. <laughs> Quite the beard. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yes, yeah. he, he would beard us, little ones. Beard? He'd come in the store and he would grab you and take and beard you. and shave. Shave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what he did to the young girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. he would just, yeah, he was quite a character. He would come up and down the uh, aisles in the store singing show tunes and, and uh, go on to take. Greg used to Papa Howard, Mama Marthy, and Daddy singing, I'm in love with you, Mama Marthy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love with you, Mama Marthy. Say you love me too, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> he made oh. that. He just filled in the name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he played very. He played piano. And, um, by ear. Uh huh. He played by, by ear. Yeah. yeah. He could read. He's not much. Not much. But he. Um, That's why we never knew the right tunes to songs, because so he'd make them up and sing them to us. <laughs> Make Let's it put it this way, he was our chaperone on the ninth grade school trip and he was our father, Mandy's my father, and he tap danced down the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> I was embarrassed at ninth grade. <laughs> now I love the memory. Oh, yeah. Actually, in the winter time in the early 80s, mid-80s, and um, Andy would come in earlier. Woodstow was our only primary. He probably still is anymore. Um, so he'd come in and get the Woodstow going, and we had a little kerosene here up by the counter with two rocking chairs and just every morning, you know, all the local men and women, the older one coming in, sitting in the rocking chair like Clinton Gaskell, Lawton Howard, Honk, everybody just come in or we stand by the bar, the wood stove for hours in the morning and um, just watching and listening and talking. It, that was a really special time for really was. Girl, I remember they had that tinsel uh, tree. Do you remember the silver tinsel trees? Yeah. 
Uh, and Santa Claus kept our presents. I didn't know for a long time, but he would drop our presents off here yes. at the community store in the attic. Yeah. And Christmas morning, he never failed. He got a call. He'd have to come down here and get batteries. <laughs> Because Everyone. somebody, so then he got, Santa so we're, he put Santa. a big bag and brought them home yeah. and just write people's names down to who to charge them to. If they come by the house to pick them up. Mom and Dad come pay their bill. He'd give them a such a candy bar. He might be scruffy face with that hug. Oh, yeah, yeah. Joni O'Neill was little. She would always come in and pick up stuff for her mom at the store. And we, Trudy and I came to work that afternoon, and there was a ticket there, and it said, Mommy. <laughs> this little girl came in, turned into mommy. mommy. I don't know who she mommy, who mommy is. is. <laughs> <laughs> she had a point her out. I think the yeah. next time she come in or something. Or describe her. Describe her, yeah. yeah. We figured out how it was. Yeah, Joni said, turned into mommy. But as a little girl, I remember um, delivering groceries with Daddy because the older people would call. Yes. And as we worked, see, and we would have to go, there was this one lady named Miss Pallet, and she would want to know what was in the freezer section. And that was before cordless or, <laughs> you know. Go back. You so you had to go look and come back. <laughs> People thought we didn't get culture and we didn't get exposure to things, and so therefore they made an attempt to do it. But we had so much here. I mean, our parents were always in plays, yeah. and they would do variety shows. They did women's weddings. You know, they just were always entertaining themselves. Yeah. Oh, uh, Twister one night, we're getting with Ricky. Um, my mom was in a car out in the parking lot, and a water spout come on the land, and um, right by the uh, old uh, light plant took a willow tree out and then popped over and took the front porch of the uh, old Jack store here and just ripped it off. And as I watched it go across the lake, and your brother lost six pieces of wooden furniture in the backyard. I don't know where they went at to this day. <laughs> went, went yeah, down. brother. He lost his Adirondack chairs and stuff. Everything just sucked. Everything from it. it was just weird. Just strange. Very scary. Very it's scary. Oh, my Lord, it's funny every day. I work, like I said, 82 and about 11 years with her dad. And uh, they just his and his uh, nieces started out with maybe two <clears throat> and it was just it was always funny oh, it was something every day mm -hmm. I was, the manatee swam up to the back yeah. door one time yeah in the winter time wow. and I was like me yeah me and right. your dad come out and he made it at the end of the stop and we stood there watching for a long time mm -hmm. swimming around the dock your, your daddy come in and goes can call me pucker and they say he said they call you pucker he called one pucker and he says pucker you need to come out back here there's something very strange in the water. <laughs> I think it was Linda Peoples, but I could be wrong, made a cake out of toilet paper, mm -hmm. rolls, and iced it. Mm -hmm. You know, so when whoever cut it, <laughs> that, you know, they're always joking. Always, okay, always. always. You know? it's nice. It's funny. Always. But our kids are special. They are. What makes it different? Community. Yeah. The community. The community yeah. Yeah. Watching them ride by the, the ball to the ball practice on their bikes that they can still do. That, right. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you saw them doing something they weren't supposed to, you would say exactly. something. I would say, say something. something. We correct you know. them. We don't mind correcting them. You know. <laughs> That's what we knew. Our parents knew before we got home. Oh, right. we did. Exactly. Exactly. Before you we left had that call. It was, like, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. in. And you, when you got home, you're like, oh, great. <laughs> and that's why I like that line, you know, especially your plate about it takes a village. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yeah, it really takes a village. And we're every lucky to have a village. For every adult just to get us all through. And the job of flowers, beautiful and Because at the drop of a hat, we can be cut off. We really work. easily, and we have to depend on each other. We, we might not work. like somebody, but they may have something we need, or yes. we may have something they need, and we have to help each other. And that's that's still there, and it's yeah, so gone. Come together. I want to say this has always been like my mom said. It's part of the heart, soul, mm -hmm. you know, our family. Mm -hmm. And uh, just as me personally, as a member of the community, you know, I remember what good times we had out here and. 
there was a fence at one point between Jack's store and the community store, and people would stand there and talk. You know, one would park on one side, one would the fence. Yeah. We loved to climb it. Yeah, we loved to you climb know, it. so it was, it's just, you know, of course for us it's sentimental, right. but I think the community needs it. Because it is that sense yeah. of community here, mm -hmm. the place we all remember yeah, and love. Okay. So it's, it's great things. They're trying to save it so it doesn't become condos. I was very yeah. worried. <laughs> I was very worried about that for a while. Very worried. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice to see, you know, life again in these buildings. Mm -hmm. Time will cast our seeds to the wind, and we'll bloom here and everywhere we Just enough, you'll become the little crumbs I find that bring me home.